Crisis housing is still available, but the traditional larger housing spaces have reduced their capacity about 50 to 75 percent. To put additional space between beds in those shelter units to allow for greater social distancing. You know, many shelters have moved to having multiple meal times so that folks are not all in one space at the same time. But Thorpe says that doesn't mean shelter capacity has decreased. The city of Tucson worked with Pima County and several health care providers to launch shelter hotel programs. Currently, there are three hotels totaling to 300 rooms being managed on a nightly basis. The rooms serve folks who are high risk and those who are awaiting test results. And we quickly filled 200 hotel rooms with folks who were high risk. And so we wanted to create a safe place for them to just sort of weather the storm through this process. Thorpe says the coalition will then place a person who tests negative for the virus based on their risk factors. It's really being able to parse out these different populations and different approaches to meet each of their needs. And the reality is we've seen much greater success here than many cities around the country in preventing the spread of COVID-19 among people experiencing homelessness. On-site testing is provided at shelter request in partnership with the health department and El Rio Health. And so testing is critical and essential, of course, but then when folks test positive, there's also a need for managed continued health care. And so this partnership with El Rio, since the very beginning of the pandemic, was developed specifically so that folks testing positive were immediately bridged into continued health care and health case management to support their recovery. The shelters and hotel operations are funded by the CARES Act and other coronavirus relief funds. The funding received will also go towards other programs and organizations helping with homelessness throughout the city and county. Taja Davis, KGA 9 on your side.